আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর নাসরিন সুলতানা লাভলি অ্যাসোসিয়েট প্রফেসর অফ ফিজিওলজি ময়নামতি মেডিকেল কলেজ কুমিল্লা নাও we are passing a very critical moment due to pandemic attack of coronavirus but for examining batch i want to discuss something important things with you first i would like to show you the course content contents in physiology there are seven card included in this physiology actually there is nine system within this seven card first cellular physiology and physiology of blood cardiovascular physiology respiratory physiology gastrointestinal physiology and renal physiology endocrine physiology physiology of reproduction neurophysiology and physiology of special senses for paper 1 physiology paper 1 number 1 cellular physiology number 2 physiology of blood number 3 cardiovascular physiology number 4 respiratory physiology number 5 gastrointestinal physiology this five card included in physiology paper 1 now in physiology paper 2 included renal physiology endocrine physiology physiology of reproduction neurophysiology and physiology of special senses now the overview of assessment in first professional examination that is according to curriculum 2012 total marks in physiology there is 400 marks written 200 oral 100 marks practical 100 marks pass marks 60 marks in each part honors mark 85 percent marks now allocation of marks for first professional examination written examination c for paper one MCQ 20 marks that is for group A 10 marks, group B 10 marks, SCQ 70 marks, group A 35 marks, group B 35 marks and formative assessment 20 marks that is paper 1 10 marks and paper 2 10 marks that is for paper 1 90 marks plus 10 marks from formative total 100 marks like this paper 2 90 marks, MCQ same 20 marks, group A 10 marks and group B 10 marks, SCQ 70 marks marks group a 35 marks group b 35 marks total 90 marks plus from formative 10 marks that is total 100 marks this is all about written examination that is 200 marks distribution of 200 marks now practical examination 100 marks ospi 400 marks ospi sorry 440 marks traditional 50 marks and practical notebook 10 marks that is total 100 marks here and oral or viva 100 marks that is total for 400 marks for physiology examination now i am giving to suggestion of general physiology first question define homeostasis most of the body's functions are regulated by negative feedback mechanism explain Number two, give the flowchart of negative feedback mechanism for controlling homeostasis. Number three, what is gain? What is adaptive control? Number four, discuss diagrammatically that positive feedback is a vicious cycle. Students, please write down in your note khata all these questions came under Chitang University and Chitang Medical University. If you study these all questions, inshallah, you will be good obtain you will obtain good marks in your first prof examination next compare and contrast negative and positive feedback mechanism name the system regulated homeostasis give three example of each mechanism what is milieu interior why is ecf termed as the internal environment short note feedback system negative feedback mechanism homeostasis name the intercellular junctions illustrate the functional importance of these junctions list the intercellular connections describe any two of them compare and contrast ecf and icf draw and level a typical cell write down the functions of cell membrane protein write down the composition and function of cell membrane with diagram mention the functions of lipid and protein on cell membrane enumerate the cell organelles what is organelles list the membranous organelles short note about mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum ribosome lysosome golgi apparatus paroxysm nucleus 
and cytoskeleton. Write the steps of phagocytosis. What is the role of lysosome in phagocytosis? Classify different transport processes. Briefly discuss the importance of these transport processes. What do you mean by carrier mediated transport? State the role of sodium potassium ATPH in physiology. Now, suggestion of blood. Define blood. Give the composition of blood. Enumerate the functions of blood. Name the cellular elements of human blood with their values. Define plasma. Give the composition of plasma. What are the differences between plasma and serum? Draw the diagram to show the stages of development of formed elements of blood from bone marrow cell. List the plasma proteins with their origin, normal values, and functions. How can they be separated? State the importance of electrophoresis of plasma proteins. What are the causes of hypoproteinemia? Summarize the effects of hypoproteinemia in the body. Describe the morphology of RBC. What are the functions of RBC? What is erythropoiesis? What are the sites of development of RBC in different ages? Describe the stages of erythropoiesis and name erythropoietic factors. Name the factors necessary for development of RBC. What are the maturation factors of erythropoiesis? Explain the role of erythropoietin in regulation of erythropoiesis. What are the changes occur during erythropoiesis? Write down the fate of RBC or hemoglobin. Show in a flow diagram the fate of RBC, list the erythropoietic factors, short note about erythropoiesis, what is ESR, name the factors that increase or decrease ESR, define hemoglobin, give its normal value, what are the functions of hemoglobin, give the chemical structure of hemoglobin, give the steps of hemoglobin synthesis. Enumerate the factors for hemoglobin synthesis, list the normal and abnormal hemoglobins, differentiate between hemoglobin A and hemoglobin F, short note hemoglobinopathies, jaundice. Name the investigations of jaundice, define and classify anemia morphologically, how can you proceed to diagnose a case of anemia. List the causes of hemolytic anemia, what are the investigation you will suggest to assess a case of anemia, short note about polycythemia, anemia, megaloblastic anemia, pancytopenia, which anemia is common in Bangladesh, what are the common causes of anemia in Bangladesh, what are the changes found in RBC indices and iron deficiency anemia, classify WBC, give the differential count of WBC. Briefly describe the properties of WBC, what is leukopoiesis, give the functions of WBC, what is chemostexis, name the immune cells, illustrate the functional importance of these cells in our body, short note immunity, what is the normal count of platelets, mention the functions of platelet, list the substances released from platelets. Define hemostasis, describe basic steps of hemostasis, explain the role of platelet in blood coagulation, write down the role of platelet in hemostasis, what is platelet activation, how platelet plug is formed, name the blood clotting factors chronologically, name the primary blood clotting factors or essential factors. Name the vitamin K dependent blood clotting factors, what is von Willebrand factor, what are the consequences of deficiency of this factor, define coagulation, describe basic steps of coagulation, how prevention of blood clotting is achieved in the normal blood vessel, how blood clotting is prevented in the normal vascular system. Discuss the steps of coagulation in extrinsic pathway. Describe the mechanism of blood clotting in intrinsic pathway or mechanism of blood clotting that occurs in a test tube. Short note, clot retraction, fibrinolysis, mismatched blood transfusion. What are the natural anticoagulants? Name the common anticoagulants used in laboratory. Define clot, state the fate of a clot. Name some bleeding disorder. Name the test should be done to diagnose a case of bleeding disorder. Differentiate between hemophilia and purpura. Short note about hemophilia, purpura, hemostasis and blood grouping. What are the major or principal blood group systems? Name the common blood types with their percentage.
showing a table the frequency of different blood groups in abo system explain why blood must cross match before transfusion give the basic principle of blood grouping what is the importance of determination of blood group name the abo and rh blood group with their agglutinogens and agglutinin state landsteiner hello students next questions for uh, suggestion of blood show in a table the frequency of different blood groups in abo system explain why blood must be cross matched before transfusion give the basic principle of blood grouping what is the importance of determination of blood group name the abo and rh blood group with their agglutinogens and agglutinin state landsteiner's law how rh incompatibility can be prevented short note about rh factor blood group blood transfusion mismatch blood transfusion erythroblastosis fetalis what are the complications or hazards of blood transfusion what are the indications of blood transfusion write down the hazards of mismatch blood transfusion write the measure for safe blood transfusion for everybody i want to give one advice even in hard times the longest day is only 24 hours everything passes nothing stays have faith and keep walking knowing that allah is always with you best of luck for all examinee batch thank you very much thank you everybody